What if there really is no author, we can't find an author, then as we just said, we can skip the author. So here's an example of Beowulf, which is an ancient famous book or story, and we don't know who the author is. So what do we do? We just do not write the author's name. Do not write the word anonymous. What does anonymous mean? Anonymous means that the author is unknown. An unknown author we can call anonymous. However, the MLA is very clear. Do not write anonymous. Just skip it and begin with the name of the book or the paper or the movie or whatever. Then we say translated by Alan Sullivan and Timothy Murphy. Now, first name first, last name last. First name first, last name last. They are not the author, they are translators in this case. And then we have an editor. So it's edited by first name first, Sarah, last name last, Anderson, comma. Pearson is the publisher, comma, and 2004 is the publication date of this version. Now there could be other people who translate the book, and the book does not belong to someone. The book is rather written anonymously. We don't know who it is. But in this case, we say this one, the one I have, is from Pearson, and it came out in 2004. So that's very clear to help someone find it if they're looking for it. Now another common situation with no author would be the paper or book is published and it does not have the name of an author, but it was published by a group, by a company maybe. I think a good example would be if you go online and you look for a company's annual report. These are not published by a person, they are published by the company. So what are some good examples of that? Well, here's one here. Consequences of rapid population growth in developing countries. That looks like a book. It's published by Taylor and Francis, but who actually wrote it? Who actually made it, the content of it? Not a person. So it's from the organization, the United Nations. So we put the name of the organization there just as if it was a person. Now you do not use the last name first, first name last, because it doesn't have a first name or a last name. It's just a company name or an organization name. United Nations, period then the name of the book, period, and then the publisher, comma, and the year, 1991. Here's an example. Reading at Risk, a survey of literary reading in America, National Endowment of the Arts, comma, June 2004. Well, what happened here? We have nothing at the beginning. We don't even have United Nations at the beginning. Why? because this is truly anonymous. We don't know who wrote this. However, it was published by National Endowment of the Arts, which is like an organization or a government organization. So in that case, similar to the United Nations, only we go ahead and skip that and just begin with the title of what the book is or the publication is.